now proceed to example number one. In here, we are asked to find the standard form of the equation and the general form of the equation and afterwards, we will graph the circuit. So again, the given is center at the origin or 0, 0, then R is equal to 2. We know that the standard form of the equation that we will use in this particular example is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared because this is the standard form responsible for the center at origin. Then, we will just substitute 2 to r. So, we will now have x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 Squared. Then we will simplify 2 squared. That would be x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. And that is already the standard form. Next, let us find the general form. So again, to do that, we will just rewrite the standard form. And let us add negative 4 to both sides of the equation. Same as addition property of equality. And then we will rewrite that afterwards. So we will now have x squared plus y squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Because 4 minus 4 is 0. And that is already our general form. Next. How are we gonna graph our given? The center is at the origin at 0, 0. So this is the location of the center. Next, we will just move two units away from the center. So we will just count. So from here, that is 1, 2. Going up, we have 1, 2. Going left, 1, 2. Going down, 1, 2. And after that, you will just have to connect the outer point that we have plotted. And that will be your circuit, given its center at 0, 0 and the radius of 2. Then we will just indicate the name of the circle we will just use the standard form so that is x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 next example number 2 so the given is center is equal to 2 comma 1 and its radius is 3 units so since the center this time is not at the origin because it has a value and therefore this is hk we will use the standard form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared this is our intended form next let us substitute the value of h and k to our formula also the radius so that is x minus h which is positive 2 squared plus y minus k which is 1 squared is equal to the radius is 3 3 squared next we will just simplify so that is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared and 3 squared is equal to 9. And this is already our standard form. Next, let us find the general form. So in the same manner, to find the general form, we will convert the standard form. So we will start with the standard form. That is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 9. We will expand the squared terms which are x minus 2 squared and y minus 1 squared. 
So it will become x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 plus y minus 1 multiplied by y minus 1 is equal to 9. Then we will multiply using the FOIL method. So x multiplied by x, x squared. Negative 2 multiplied by x, negative 2x. Negative 2 multiplied by x, negative 2x. Then negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 4. Then proceed to the other one. Same thing. y multiplied by y, y squared. Negative 1 multiplied by y, that is negative y. Then negative 1 multiplied with y, also negative y. Then negative 1 multiplied by negative 1, that is positive 1, is equal to 9. Next, let us combine similar terms. So x squared doesn't have, so x squared. Then we have negative 2x and another negative 2x, that is negative 4x. Then, let's just write 4. Then, positive y squared. Then, we have 2 negative y. That would be negative 2y. Then, plus 1 is equal to 9. Next. So, we will equate that to 0. For us to equate that to 0, we will add negative 9 to both sides of the equation. And then we have to write it in a proper manner. So, x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 minus 9 is equal to 9 minus 9 is 0. Next. Combine similar terms. In here, we can just combine the constant terms, which are 4, 1, and negative 9. So that would be x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 2y minus 4 plus 1 minus 9 is negative 4 is equal to 0. Always remember, the general form must be arranged in decreasing manner. So the general form will be x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. And that is the general form. To graph the circle in example number 2, first, we must locate the center which will be found at the first quadrant because the value of our h and k are both positive. So that is here, 2, 1. Then, let's move away from the center with 3 units. So let's just count 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3. After that, just connect the outer points in a circular manner. And that's it. Do not forget to write the name of the circle in the standard form. So that is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 9. Next, example number 3, with a given center at negative 3, 2, and the radius of 2 units.
Last, example number 4. Given the center at 0, negative 3 over 2 and its radius of 1 unit. Oh, 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 oh,